Hey everybody, welcome back. Mike from Spectre Comics. Been waiting for my winter break to start some fun art projects that I could film and make videos out of. Um, I've been working a lot with Posca markers recently. I've done a ton of shorts this year, painting with the Posca markers, doing different effects, and even just straight up painting pictures and posting shorts, and they've been doing really well. I wanted to do a long form video on uh, some art projects with Posca markers. I went to my local Dollar Tree and I bought all these like wood shapes and I thought it'd be fun to paint on them, different things, characters, and, and paint them. I've got this star, I've got this smiley face. Uh, it was nice to just load up on these different shapes because at the Dollar Tree they were pretty cheap. Um, I bought this arrow, so this is the one we're gonna do today. I bought this wood arrow and uh, I'm gonna paint uh, my Spectre characters, so the characters you see behind me on the banner, basically the subject of my comic. I thought it would be fun to just try out painting on wood. I've never painted on wood before, so let's get into it. So I didn't have any sort of plan. I just started sketching my characters on the wood arrow. The arrow is about 10 inches long, and I didn't think it would take that long to to do this project, but it literally took me three hours to draw and paint on it. Um, one of the things I found was that sketching on the wood was relatively easy, even if I wanted to erase. I made a mistake with one of the characters, Risa, on the very left, um, and I had to erase and start over. And my goal was to try to fill in every piece of the arrow so that something was drawn in it. And for the most part, I succeeded. I just layered the main characters in the front and then I used a bunch of, of the side characters from the comic to kind of fill in the back. Once I started painting I had to kind of plan out what colors I wanted to use. Now I don't have a ton of colors so this made it a little more difficult but I wanted to try to show some shadows and highlights where I could if I had uh, like a dark blue and a light blue. Um, there's a lot of blue in this and I literally just filled in the main characters in the front and then I went back and I looked through some of my comic issues. Uh, one of the comic issues I did, that's issue two, was took place in a cantina uh, on, on an asteroid. And I basically took a bunch of characters that were in the cantina, including the bartender, the bouncer, and just patrons that I had populated the background of that scene in. And I kind of threw those characters into the background of the arrow to kind of fill it out. And then I just started painting. Now, one thing I found hard about drawing the characters in the background is because I couldn't really see them and I had to fill in the gaps. It was hard to kind of lay them out ahead of time. When I draw digitally on my tablet, I can move a character aside or turn a layer off to draw the whole character and then place the character in the foreground. It makes it easier to go ahead and um, make sure the character looks accurate. Here I was just kind of filling in the gaps. So I kind of guessed at where pieces of their body would be if it would be shown in this little gap. But um, overall, I think it was pretty successful in filling in the entire arrow with characters. Um, and then painting it was easy. I waited till the very end to do the black outlining. Um, that way any <clears throat> overlapping or smudging could be corrected uh, once I did the final inking. And then any, I did have a few little gaps remaining. I just basically took a gray marker and filled in the gaps. And I added just some lines and detail in uh, to just make, look, make it look like every aspect, every piece of the arrow was filled in. I went back and added some highlights with some white marker to just uh, add some shine to some of the things. There's robots in this, so there's some shiny metal that would show up. Um, I tried to add shadow where I could. I used a lot of gray for that. Um, the line work turned out pretty well. One thing I found difficult of trying on wood is that it absorbed the marker paint much worse than I thought it would. So it, it would like absorb into the wood and spread out. So it was harder to get a sharp line uh, often. Um, if I do this again with some of these other uh, shapes that I got, um, I'll probably put a white gesso paint over before I even start doing the color Posca markers. Um, I think that'll give it a better base uh, in order to flesh out and paint without the paint spreading. I like to have nice, sharp, crisp lines, and if the paint absorbs into the wood and spreads out, you don't get the best effect. So here is the final image. 
with all the characters, it turned out much more vibrant than I thought it would. Even though the paint was absorbed in the wood, um, I did like the way it turned out. So even though I just showed it on the screen, here is the final arrow uh, in person. Um, as I said, it's about 10 inches long, about three inches wide. Um, the colors came out very well, even though the paint absorbed into the wood and did spread out a little bit. I think the final result is very crisp, especially once I used a very thin uh, black Posca marker to do the outlining of the characters. I didn't want too thick of a black marker because um, I think it would have dominated uh, the image. But um, being that these are my characters, I'll probably actually hang this up somewhere in my art studio. And uh, yeah, I got more projects that I'm going to do. I did get these other shapes, as I mentioned before. I got a star, smiley face. And uh, I actually went to uh, the craft store yesterday and I bought a couple more shapes because I think it's fun to paint on wood. Now, one of the things that I probably will do next time is put a layer of white gesso underneath. I didn't even sand this down and I probably could have made it a, a little smoother. So those couple of, this was kind of a test uh, piece of art to see how easy it was to work on a wood surface. But I thought it was pretty fun. Uh, I'll do some things a little different next time and I'll walk through those steps in the next video. But that is it for this video. Hope you enjoyed watching the process of painting Spectre characters on a wood arrow. So more fun stuff like that to come. Happy New Year, everybody. And uh, we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.